Well, hello there. Yeah, I know. I know it's been a while since I last uploaded on this channel. I, I'm sorry for that. Like, it's been a while since I last uploaded. Yeah, I'm starting to get back into creepypastas, but I don't know when I will like make another creepypasta. But for right now, to start off my new sort of creepypasta thing, these videos aren't scripted. Sorry if I'm stuttering. But um. Basically, the way I'm starting it out is with this. Reading very bad creepypastas. <laughs> and just making fun of their awfulness. Now, now, please do not send hate to any of the authors of any stories on this little series. So, uh, starting off, we're going with a Mario creepypasta. Known as, I hate you. Yeah, not exactly the most creative title. It honestly feels like a personal attack. <laughs> uh, I get, I get, wait, I just read way too deep into this. So yeah, let's begin. Okay, so the story basically starts off with this. This isn't one of those haunted game stories. At no point are you going to hear me claim Something within the game spoke to me, reacted to my words, or forced me to punch myself repeatedly in the face. That's kind of a dramatic opening. <laughs> anyway. No, this isn't about a haunted game or a game doing something impossible, or even something it shouldn't have. This isn't about a glitch or a hidden satanic message, and at no time did I phone Nintendo headquarters only have my questions answered with hushed whispers or anguished screams. This story is about a game feature I don't think anyone else has unlocked. This game is decades old. I'm pretty sure everybody knows about the game and all its features. Anyways, that's it. No ghosts, no conspiracies. It might be a conspiracy. Just a secret we were all supposed to find. If it's a secret, how are we supposed to find it? but never did. Something that changes an entire generation's childhood and the very essence of a multi-million billion dollar franchise. I don't think it's gonna change everyone's childhood. I think they're gonna still look at the game the same, just find something in it creepy. I mean, how would a spooky thing hidden in a game change anybody's childhood? Seriously, author, come on. This is about what I assumed to be a previously undiscovered alternate ending to Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo. In 1996, I received my first computer as a birthday gift. You said this is for the Super Nintendo. Unless you're playing on an emulator or something. I've been on the internet before, had used computers before, but it had always been in school or at a friend's house. This one was all mine. All mine. I explored the crude prehistoric web of the time with great interest. I downloaded all sorts of uh, prawn and even printed it out, which made absolutely no sense. Yes, that doesn't make sense. You're gonna get caught with it easier if you just print it out. I also pirated media like a madman. Well, you're just a criminal then. Music, games, anything. Also, can I just talk for a second about how, like, this author at the beginning was just so melodramatic and just, and based on the fact that he pirates things, like, and the fact that he makes him out to be th th this guy, this is like the typical creepypasta, creepypasta narrator, he's not really that likable, he's just like a Mary Sue to me, but that could just be me. This was where I first discovered Mario World. I'd never had a Super Nintendo as a little kid, so it was all new to me. I'd download tons of games along with the SNES emulator. Yes, I knew it was on an emulator. But Mario World was my favorite. For over a decade, the same Mario World ROM was my time-wasting hobby. Kinda like how I have time-wasting hobbies. I play it over and over again, beating the game faster and faster, speedrunner, until I began to lazily explore the world with no particular purpose. Just download ROM hacks, dude. 
Like seriously. Those exist. Genie game genie codes helped immensely. I could turn off the timer and relive and particularly entertaining. Don't you mean a particularly entertaining map for over for an hour as I waited for a download or any number of boring events? Okay, that's cool. It was in this manner that I must have beaten and re-beaten the game thousands upon thousands of times. I don't think it's possible to do it that many times if it's just in a span of a few months or something. Unless you've been doing this for years. There was comfort in the obsessive compulsive behavior of this routine. But all of that was shattered when I saw the blind boo. Boos are ghosts, how can they be blind? The blind boo, as I refer to it, was hovering over the exit from the sunken ship level later on in the game. I call it blind because it actually had no visible eyes. It was like someone had made a lazy ROM hack. I mean, this might just be a hacked game that you downloaded in the first place. To where this might have a random chance of happening. But I knew from years upon years of experience that this was a normal game. Again, could be a random chance of happening, dude. Who knows, from hacks. A blind boo just hung there over the exit pipe, blocking it. I turned my back on it, but it didn't chase me. How could it? It didn't even see me. Then I noticed something else out of sorts. There was a key and keyhole misplaced above the exit. Keys and keyholes as such are ways of ending a level in an alternate manner and discovering a secret area. Still, this didn't belong there and I knew it. For a moment, I considered the fact that I'd actually broken a ROM file from overuse. I that is kind of reasonable. I'll give the author, the author that. After taking a screenshot specifically to show all of you Mario Bros. fans out there, I picked up the key and opened the door, figuring the game would seize up and I'd have to restart. Instead, don't, didn't you mean freeze, by the way? Instead, it opened up a new path on the map selection screen. And it shows a whirlpool. How scary. A whirlpool next to Bowser's already creepy head cave thing. <laughs> creepy head cave thing. <laughs> I pressed the right arrow and moved onto the whirling drain. Oh god, no. This didn't really strike me as odd, because if you're familiar with the Mario World game, there's an area called Star Road that you may know has similar names. Stuff like just stuff like tubular and awesome and all manner of dumb words and phrases. Yeah, the level names are kind of stupid. I'll I agree with you there. And tubular is the bane of my existence. Most of the areas were called Vanilla Forest 1 and Donut Mountain 3 and all that, but there were maps with odd names like that. What did concern me though was Mario's expression. Surprise? Shock? Fear? It doesn't show that on the screenshot. Like, at all. No, oh, wait, yeah, it does. But it's barely noticeable. So, why even include that? And on that note, I think that's a good place to end part one. Now, I don't know when part two will come out, but I'll try to, uh, like, release it as soon as I can. But, um, yeah, the dumbness will continue in part two. <laughs> this story is just so dumb. And by the way, I again, I didn't script this. I'm literally recording the audio and reading it at the same time. Like, first time reading it, like, for a video. I haven't read it in a while. So all the laughter you hear from me is genuine. That's how stupid this story is. Anyways. See you in the next video.